how do you cut tubes at an angle instead of nice and straight? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'd like to cover a complex topic, and that is cutting tubes like this one that are on an angle. Um, this kit is the Snarky, and it's from Apogee. It's actually one of our brands called Dynastar. Um, and it has two, two um, angles cuts on this bottom tube. Another kit that we have in our lineup is the LexJet. And the LexJet has um, these simulated um, jet engines and the back end of this tube is cut at an angle. Um, I'm gonna show you how we go about doing that. Um, for kits like this, uh, what you'll find is that there's a pattern sheet um, that has that nice, um, it's a weird looking pattern sheet. It's not a rectangle like you'd normally see. Um, but, it, but this is what we're gonna use to cut the angle on the tube. So we'll first cut this pattern sheet out. Now this edge right here, we're gonna to have to freehand it. And so just take your time and work slow. Okay, so that's the pattern she cut out. And then we're going to take our tube and we're going to wrap it around the tube. And you can see on the back side there's an overlap and you want to pull it nice and tight. And you're going to need a piece of tape handy. So this is just some masking tape. And on the overlap there's these little tick marks. And those tick marks, you need to line those up so that you know that it's nice and straight. And then just put a piece of tape across it like that. And then I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna use this to lock this in place so that it can't slide back and forth. Um, first, you need to put it on the end of the tube where you're gonna be cutting. Um, a lot of times you'll draw a line along the tube um, so that it's at the right position. Um, for my purposes, I'm just gonna cut it here at the very end. And I'm just gonna wrap this around a little bit of overlap on the pattern and on the tube so that it can't slide. Now here's where um, it can kind of help to take a pencil and trace around the outside of the template so that you make a mark on the tube Okay, so now, again, same technique. We're just gonna go really slow with our hobby knife and follow the, the edge of the paper. And I'm not trying to cut through. I'm just trying to score along the edge, at least on the first pass. This is a tricky cut, which is why this is kind of an advanced skill. Okay, so I've gone around once. Now I'm going to go around again. And this time I'm going deeper. And I am cutting through. Try to use the tip whenever you can because, because it is a curve. Okay, so now I've cut it. And... Now I'm going to remove my tape, and you can check to see 
how straight your edge is by you know putting it on a table. Um, and it's not perfect because it was freehand, so now we need to clean it up. Um, for this, I've got my sanding tee and just some um, medium grit sandpaper. You can see what I'll do is I'll just come and sand to flatten that out. And this is going to make it perfect. And there you go. And that's how the cut is made. Now, I'd also like to show you how these patterns are developed um, in case you want to create your own um, angled tube, um, but at a different angle. I think, I, don't, I'm, I think this one might be 45 degrees. Yeah, I think that's 45 degrees. Um, but if you didn't want 45 degrees and you wanted a different angle, um, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but typically, angle tubes are used for decoration, um, just like on this tube right here, uh, where it's the back end of a jet engine. Um, so in a future video, I am going to show you how these patterns are developed so that you can make your own.